Hey everyone, this is David Wallman, and today I'm going to do a review of this Mountain Hardware Torch Lamina Z sleeping bag. And uh, it's a five degree bag, and it's about 70 out, so I'm a little warm right now. A little toasty. I'm a little ready to get out. Alright, so in case you missed it, this is the Mountain Hardware Torch Lamina Z, which is the men's version of their 5 degree Fahrenheit sleeping bag. Overall, I want to say I really like this bag. Um, I would keep it, except for one factor, which I'll talk about later. Um, but it's been, I've had it for almost a year now. It's been across the US with me. It's been in snowstorms. It's been in summer. It's been in a living room. <laughs> Lots of living rooms. Um, and I can fairly accurately attest that it's a great sleeping bag. I put it put it through the ringer for sure. I'm going to start with a few things um, that I do like about it. First of all, I do like the brand Mountain Hardware, and I do like the color. It's important. Um, I do also like, one thing I liked about it is the welded hem construction. Now, if you know anything about baffle construction in these kind of products, is anywhere that a, uh, if you don't well, depending on the kind of construction. Typically, if it's sewn, then you're gonna have this the spot where the two fabrics meet together for the for the sewn, and it's it's a spot where heat can easily escape because there's very few barriers. By doing the welded, you end up having loft all the way through the bag, which is really nice. Less heat escapes that way. I do like the zippers. The zippers have been very good. It's a large YKK zipper, and the the air guard on the zipper does occasionally get stuck, but I'm not going to call it a complaint because it's pretty minor. Um, it's got one strap that goes from the outside and then swings towards the inside so you can access it from either side. It is a double zipper, so if you tend to get hot feet at night, you can unzip this and stick your feet out the bottom um, or for airing it out or however you want to use that. Um, it is a double zipper. The Velcro around the neck, I haven't had any issues with. Some people typically complain about that on sleeping bags that use Velcro. I haven't had an issue with that. Granted, I don't use it a ton. Typically, I just zip it up, but I haven't had any issues with it. Some things I don't really like about this bag, and take this with a grain of salt, because they're not huge issues to me. Um, like I said, I, the only reason I'm not going to keep it is for one reason, and it's not one of these. So. I don't really like the fit of it. Now that's something that I should have looked into more when I got this bag and it's something that I just didn't know at the time or think to consider. But just because something is a mummy bag does not mean it's going to fit you exactly the same. Every manufacturer has a different um, fit and sizing chart. And this bag in particular is quite broad and has lots of space in it, which is great if you want to move around and twist a lot, but for me, I'm typically looking for something that is compressible, small, and holds in my warmth really well. So I need to look more carefully next time at a bag that fits me really well. This one just has a lot of space around the shoulders and even the head. When you cinch it up, I've still got a bunch of dead air space next to my head and it's just unnecessary energy being wasted and heat being wasted. So that's, that's my fault, not necessarily the bags thing, just something to note. It seems to be a little bit wider than other bags. Two things I don't really like about this bag, the drawstring. The drawstring is difficult, in my opinion. It is a elastic shot cord, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but the actual mechanism itself is a very stiff spring, which is hard to open, especially when you're tired. <laughs> um, but also, I think more importantly, I don't like the angle of it. Some bags put it on the inside so that you can easily access it, but if you're all zipped up and you're nice and cozy and snuggly for the night, it's really difficult to kind of reach out through the neck and tighten things. It's just it's just difficult and it's stiff. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the draw cord. I wish it was on the inside and I wish it was a little easier to adjust. 
that's just me. Also, they have this uh, zipper on the outside, a very small little pouch, good for like a cell phone. Um, I use it for, well, use it. I would use it for a camera or uh, like camera batteries, sorry, not a full camera, a camera batteries or my phone um, to keep it warm at night so that the batteries don't end up going kaput. Well, that would be great, except that they put it on the outside of the bag, on the outside of the insulation, which means your body heat doesn't keep it warm, and there's nothing from the outside keeping it warm. So basically, anything you put in this bag is gonna be freezing by morning, um, and so that doesn't do me any good. For me personally, I would prefer it was on the inside, then it might have some use. That's pretty much it. Oh, the one thing. Dun, dun, dun. The one reason I'm not going to keep this bag for too much longer is compressibility. And that's not necessarily the bag's fault, it's just because of what I do. I do a lot of backpacking and hiking, and I need something more compressible. Because this guy, even at its smallest point with me sitting on it and squeezing the life out of it, doesn't really fit into my 70 liter backpack very well. And so, it's just not a good fit for me. If you're doing a lot of car camping, this may still be a great bag and I'd recommend it. But if your goal is ultralight and small, I would not recommend this bag. All things considering, I suppose that being a synthetic five degree bag, it compresses pretty well, but I don't know, it's a little big for me. It does come with its own compression sack, which is great, and its own uh, storage bag, closet storage bag. The compression sack, I will say, is well fitted to the bag. I do like that. It's if you buy another one, you're actually not going to get it any smaller. They pretty much made the compression sack to be at its smallest point, which I do like a lot. So a well fitted compression sack and a nice storage bag. Those come with it. I do like that. I do like the bag. I would recommend it to someone else. I won't be keeping it for much longer because I'm going to get a nice down one um, that will compress a little bit more and be better suited for my adventures. But Overall, this is a great bag. You can find more info about it on Mountain Hardware's website or like an REI website as far as the actual weight and fill weight and it is a synthetic, not a down, I don't know if I mentioned that. And um, it's a good bag, it's a good bag. I would definitely recommend it. If you guys have questions, feel free as always to drop a comment below. I typically respond to those within a couple days uh, and sometimes even post a follow-up video uh, if I feel the need. Um, so please do that and subscribe for more reviews and adventure vlogs that will be coming um, and photo shoot stuff and etc etc yada yada and now I'm rambling. So until next time have a good one get outside and I'll see you then.